First, you add a third a cup of corn and four tablespoons of vegetable oil to a large, deep, covered pan, also known as a pot if you're not a complete idiot. Cover it and put it on medium-high heat. And remember to give it a good shimmy every 45 seconds or so as it cooks. When you see the corn start to push against the lid, part it slightly and then shake the excess into your popcorn bowl. Do this as many times as you need to until you hear the popping start to die down, and then empty the rest in. In a smaller bowl, combine two tablespoons of vegetable oil, two tablespoons of mayonnaise, two two teaspoons of lime juice, and a pinch of salt and pepper. If you want something more authentic, you can use two tablespoons of melted clarified butter instead of the vegetable oil, but you have to make sure it's melted clarified butter. Melted regular butter has water in it, and water will make the popcorn soggy. And there's already water in the lime juice, so we're already pushing it. And I know that mayonnaise on popcorn sounds disgusting, but stick with me here. Incorporate about a third of the goo into the corn, and then start tossing with a large metal or plastic spoon or spatula. Make sure that you mix upwards from the bottom so that each piece gets coated. When it looks even, you can add another third of the goo and repeat, and then finally the last third. You can try adding the goo all at once, but I wouldn't. Now that the corn is coated in the wet mix, we can add the dry mix. Add a third a cup of dusted cotija cheese. If you can't find cotija cheese, dusted parmesan also works. Once that's tossed, add one teaspoon of chili powder, the most important part, and toss it again, and then